drought and famine. <laughs> My skin looks amazing. Ooh, do y'all see the skin? I'm just saying, like, it's giving glass skin. Hello? Like, I took a shower, like, a couple hours ago and did, like, my skincare because... Ooh. Now, if only I didn't have these bags and the darkness under my eyes. Like, I love my skin. I am getting a couple um bumps i don't know why and then i had like this burn i don't know where these lines came from but my skin child <laughs> invest in your skin care okay but anyways you guys as you can tell <laughs> my bed <laughs> but as you can tell we got a bed we got a bed we got a bed we got a bed finally i did order a mattress as well today don't mind that because that all came from what was in this bedroom but i ordered a mattress i have no idea when that will be shipped but the bed came today i literally ordered at like 3 more 3 a.m this morning <laughs> i was so stressed out about getting a freaking bed and so this is uh living spaces if there's an echo y'all know why but this is from living spaces this is their um queen the name of it is joren i think it's the joren queen storage bed so as you also saw it has two drawers at the foot of the bed which i really really love just because um I need some storage right now because I have no nightstands and I have no dresser, so I have nowhere to put my things. So like at least I can get some type of extra storage until I get like my nightstands and my dresser. Um, but yes, this is, I don't know if you would call this a platform bed. I don't need a box spring. Um, that's a good thing. I ordered a 10 inch mattress because I want it the headboard to cont like I wanted more of the headboard to show so I didn't want a tall headboard where I mean I didn't want a tall mattress so it would take away from showing this beautiful um headboard um so hopefully it will be like you know rather low but anyways this board the bed is I mean full solid wood I mean as we can who knows I mean but it's described as um full acadia acadia wood um throughout the whole bed um this is black as you can tell and it just has minor like detailing of just the clean lines throughout the bed i just i actually saw this in store um like a week like i saw it the first time i went to living spaces so earlier last week or last weekend or whatever then i went to another living spaces um monday i believe i don't remember sunday or monday and i saw it again and i and I, I just it always was in the back of my mind it just was more expensive than i wanted to pay for it i mean it was 9.95 it's not bad um i just felt like i could get a good bed for like 500 dollars. but i did get the protection plan on it i paid for them to come and deliver and install it and take away everything so that actually mind you I i'm telling you i did this at 3 a.m um luckily it was actually going to have to be Friday, but then I was like going back and forth, going back and forth. And when I went back on the site, I don't know if someone had, um, let me look at y'all. I don't know if someone had canceled their delivery or rescheduled, but then Thursday popped up. Oh, I have not talked to you guys all day. And actually, this is a new vlog. Hello, hello, hello. This is Thursday, August 31st. Tomorrow is September 1st. Um, I'm starting a new vlog. I guess this is the second installment of my Moving to Houston series. Um, 
if you have not already seen the first one make sure you go check it out and hello my name is morgan of morgan ashley where we talk about a little bit of everything um right now we are in a new chapter a new season of our life where we have moved to houston texas and we're trying to get our our little cute little quaint apartment to ourselves together okay so if you have not already done so please hit that subscribe button hit that like button on this video or you can wait until you until we hopefully get to something good and then make sure you leave a comment you know but anyways yeah y'all so um i ordered bed at 3 a.m um it popped up that i could have it delivered today and i was like oh yes need it and it was actually cheaper it was 99 dollars for the delivery fee um compared to friday which would have been 119 so i was like oh need it um but then i had to stay home um i had to stay home from work because uh the delivery window was just very very large and look it it didn't come till freaking i'm thinking it would it was coming this morning and it didn't come till 10 30 at night or they came at like they came at like 9 45 so i'm not mad at it um i'm just happy that i have a bed now my mattress will be here soon enough i don't know if i'm gonna put my air mattress on this because with that do y'all think the slates the slats would pop my air mattress i don't know but i'm just so happy because we the major things we got a couch we got a bed the next thing is i want a media tv stand and bar stools like that's the next phases but yeah i'm just so excited i'm actually about to call my mom and show her because i did not tell her because initially when i saw the bed in the store i went to online and it had like 30 or 46 reviews i don't remember but out of the reviews it still had like basically almost it was like 4.8 stars um but there were like three to four reviews were like oh their bed came damaged um and the bed was not good quality and it came the wood was split now some of them did say it was not shipped properly so i'm assuming that these people had the bed actually shipped to them compared to how i had it like white glove service actually delivered so it didn't have to go through the process of being packaged and shipped and you know how ups or fedex they just throw boxes so i'm assuming that's what happened because i made sure to um ask the people when they were setting up i'm like can we make sure that there's no splits or anything because if it does or cracks because i don't want it like I'm gonna refuse it um because even though i did purchase the warranty it's just like no i'll pay the 10 percent restocking fee but the bed looks good um and he even said he was like this is a good bed the headboard is like heavy he was like some beds like will hit um the wall and they will like scratch or whatever but he was like this bed is good and it feels sturdy so yeah, and I mean, like, I, even when I was in the store, I felt like the the headboard was flimsy, but I'm assuming maybe because it was just a floor model, but this feels sturdy. Um, I'm assuming they just don't put the floor models together like that, but I am so happy with it. I loved it. I wanted a black bed. A black, I wanted a wood bed. That was the thing, and it was like, this floor is just so annoying. It's like I had to do black or I had to do, like, a brown and i really didn't want to do brown i wanted to do brown brown more and so like more so in my accents like my my nightstands um and then potentially my dresser but i don't know yet so, but i just love the bed i think it's very sleek um modern and mid-century mid-century modern especially looking at the feet because of how those look um yeah but i think the bed is just timeless even the fact that it is modern i could take this bed and put this in a guest room whenever i move into my next place um or um, a home so i have no problem spending the money i spent for this bed um and the fact that it has storage i love that um so let's call our mother <laughs> she saw that bed so when i facetime her and show her this should be funny i'm like girl I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I did it. Um, but yeah. So I'm rambling again. Let's call mom, mother dearest, mommy dearest. She probably sleeping, girl. Oh, she's up. Doesn't my skin look amazing? Why you call 
No, remember I wanted to, I said I had something to show you? Oh, yeah. I did it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's the bed from that store where it had a couple reviews where they were like, oh, the wood was cracked, but I checked the bed before they left. The wood was not cracked. It's perfectly fine. And I bought the protection plant. My I bought this bed at 4.30 this morning. Where? From Living Spaces, that store I was in when I first saw the bed. And but you bought it online? Yeah, I bought it online. It's they just cool. left like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Wait, I'm not oh, I didn't buy a mattress from there. I actually, I bought a mattress today too. I bought my mattress from Macy's, actually. Are you still there? <laughs> okay, listen to me. I don't that one's in the mattress. That's the air mattress that's sitting behind there, right? Exactly. Yeah. So let me see that. Let me see that couch again. The couch? Yeah, the way you do that. Yeah, I just want to see. Those fucking strip balls, okay? Okay, that would be old. I asked my architect to change one little thing. That's one that's little thing. Nice. Nice. Okay, you guys, I just ran to my car. I've been talking to my crazy lady for a little bit to get my Target bag because as soon as they came, they called me and was like, we're 12 minutes away. And I'm, at, I'm over here checking out at Target. But luckily, like Target is really, really close to me. So I'll show you guys what I picked up. Still picking things up. So I got a uh, corkscrew because I don't feel like I should buy myself an electric corkscrew. I feel like one of my friends needs to purchase that, like for a housewarming gift. So I think I'm gonna put up an Amazon gift thing and send it to my five friends and say, I need each of you to buy me these things because where is my welcome gifts? Hello. So in the meantime, cause I had two bottles of red wine but I couldn't open them because they were corkscrew. So in the meantime, I got this. And this is always good, you know, just to have on have on hand. But you know what? I realized this is, you can't open a bottle. This, you can't open this with a, typically the corkscrews have like a bottle opener, but whatever. Then I got me some foil because I bought me some butter chicken and rice and some non bread from Trader Joe's, what, a week? week and a half ago and I can't eat it because I was gonna eat it today but I didn't have anything to put my non bread on because I don't have no baker sheets I only have pots and pans so I was like well in the meantime until I buy baker sheets let me get some foil so I can eat my non bread because they gotta be put in the oven so we also picked up some more lotion because I ran out of lotion this is my lotion of choice I mean I do have body creams and oils but when i'm just trying to get out the house like the gym we're just doing some lubriderm i like the way it makes my skin feel okay and then we almost we ran out of our coochie wash this is what i use i think i just showed you guys in the previous vlog of the wet wipes that i use like you know the um like the wipes that i have bought to wipe my doo-doo butt <laughs> when i'm on the toilet this is the same brand and this is from what's the name of the brand the brand is called um only the good stuff i think but this is called the down there wash i really enjoy this because we can't use honey pot anymore and then i mean because it's in target so it was like why not and this is still on sale so i got some more um the marca prosecco and then i got josh's prosecco rose I bought another wine sealer thingy stopper because this one I feel like might be, hopefully will be better. Cause the other ones that I have for wine are, I mean, I have are, for me are better for wine, but like for champagne to keep its buzz, I'm hoping this one will work out better. It looks like it will, will. I don't know what this is for, but this is what I got. And then lastly, Target put out some stuff and I saw this and I thought this was really cute. Mind you, I already have a dress of this color from Target from many, many years ago from one of like the designer collections. Like, I forgot the name of the brand. Um, let me actually show you guys. 
Oh, it, it mind you, it was when Target and Cushney, when they, like, I have like two Cushney dresses. It still has a tag on it. I'm not giving her up because we're gonna get into this again or, you know, be able to wear it one day. And this was just like, you know, a lime green strapless dress. It, it was so, like, this is, like the girls had it. It had a cute little split here. Um, yeah, it was just cute. But to me, this dress is like a little bit more, you know, dress it up, dress it down. It's just a simple. It's just a simple dress and it's long too. But the cute little split, I feel like I could wear this to run around in with some flat sandals or if I wanna dress it up. I'm actually looking to go to Joey, ha Joey Uptown happy hour tomorrow. So like, I feel like this is something cute that I could just throw on, a cute little summer dress with a cute little short heel. I mean, I don't really own short heels, but you know what I mean. Like, just something really simple. I'm actually gonna try it on. Okay, okay, so I was worried, but your girl got into it. I think this is the extra large. The two extras look way too big. So, you know, we gained our we gained our way back, but we ain't gained that much. The fact that I can get into this extra large dress. And the titties aren't too bad at all either. Like, it's not tight on my titties. Um, it's just, you know, a cute little throw-on little dress. This cute little split, it's not too high. It doesn't hug my butt and my thighs, so I love this. So I'm keeping this. Um, I think this was like $28 though. You know, Target is getting expensive. Like, let's look. Compared to this is year, this is pre-COVID. This dress was $50, a cushiony, like a Target design collab. Target's dresses now are like $20 off from that. They're like $30, $35 typically. So what are we doing, Target? Like, come on. I mean, I guess it's not that bad actually. But no, now the designer collections be like 50, 65 dollars. Good morning, happy Friday, happy September 1st. It's like noon, child, I made sure I slept in. Again, I took the day off, it's like 12.23 p.m. So I just washed my face, I'm starting to do my skincare routine and I'm about to mix up my drunk elephant. Child. Is it gonna focus? Okay. This, the Drunk Elephant Sea Firm and Fresh Day Serum, aka it's supposed to firm and brighten. 15% L ascorbic acid, ferulic acid, pH 2.5. Like I said, I got this because it's a vitamin C serum. And um, I ran out of my vitamin C serum. I was using, um, it was a black one company, I forgot what it was called. Um, but I wanted to try Drunk Elephants and you have to mix it. So I figured why don't I pick up the camera and show you guys. It's so light too. Hold on, let me see if I can bring this down. Please hold. Okay, I think that's better. So you see this. This is what it comes like, it's two separate things. So, so loosen the powder. They say loosen the powder. So loosen in it. Like I said, what I already did, I had washed my face with, <clears throat> excuse me, mm. with the same vitamin C serum that I was using. I was using their brightening cleanser. I cannot think, I ran out of both of the packaging, so I don't know. And then I always, this is my holy grail. I go with my Ren um, Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. And then from there, I spray my face with my Indie Lee uh, Coke 10 toner. I love this stuff. Um, these are my go-to's. And then I went in after with the Glow Recipe Watermelon watermelon pH and BHA. PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. I got this in a, a birthday gift from Sephora. AKA the girl, I was like, oh, is that only for birthday gift? I was like, can I just use my point? She was like, no, it's just birthday. She was like, but it wouldn't be, she was like, but you didn't hear from me if you just made another account and say your birthday was this month. So that's what I did back in August. So that's what I did. And I got this. And I got the Glow Recipe Water Metal and Glow Neosinamide Dew Drops. This is really why I wanted it, to try this. <laughs> so I lied. Um, and then after the uh, that toner though, I went in with my Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. If you have not tried this, I'm gonna tell you guys to try this. This is like, 
these out of the everything I just showed you two so far, these two products. 10 out of 10, like the best. You guys need to try these. Um, and then from there, so I want to go do vitamin C now because I'm I don't think this is just too heavy because I want to go in after with this, and this is just a little heavier, and you know you're supposed to apply your serums on like the weight of them. So my um everything I showed you was sort of much liquid. This is very light. Um, and then this is sort of heavy, and then um actually i am gonna apply this dermalogica circular serum i think um right because everything else i don't think i'm using my samples girl um let me see or if i'm gonna use the because we're using drunk alpha vitamin c i'm gonna actually use their b hydra intensive hydration serum instead of the dermalogica one i think right now yeah and you know i have used the Ret a passioni retinol cream i think this is probably what give me those little bumps because you know retinol but in other news let's get back to this y'all okay slowly pour liquid into powder so oh my god so this is this is the thing is the C from a liquid serum base shake it up settle it open it girl why am I a chemist for some skincare and it's foaming so because I've got to go I ain't got time to play with the um stuff I'm gonna screw this back on so screw pump on tiny and wipe clean okay whatever Shake until powder is dissolved. Ciao. Call me Morgan, PhD. <sighs> oh, this is annoying. If you want to buy this, I knew this was what I had to do with Ciao. Okay. And then snap into white bottle. Snapped it in there. Oh, this is cute. You snap it and then you just twist it. I like this. That's cute. So let's see. We're gonna do a pump. I've done a couple because it's like, ew. Oh. It's like sticky. Ew, I don't like this. <laughs> this is like very heavy. I should have done the other one first. I don't, I mean, I'm going to say because I just shook it, but it was very heavy and sticky, and I don't like sticky products. Get the neck, girl. Okay. So, we'll see how this does. I mean... Just gonna give it time to settle, and I'm gonna use the rest of this once this settles too to pour that in there. I hope I can open that back up because there is still a little liquid in there. Oh, this camera about to die. Mm. Let me hurry up. So I'm gonna use these niacinamide drops, and then we're actually not gonna use that hydration thing. And then I'm just going to for moisturizer. I'm going to use my Ren Glow Daily Vitamin Gel Cream, and then my Laneige Hydro UV Defense Sunscreen. SPF 50. Um, like I said, the camera's dying, so I'll check in. When I'm so it's 1.30, basically an hour later. Um, I'm basically dressed. This is what I decided. Mind you, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna throw on something regular. I mean, this is regular, but it's just like, I was trying to be cute. Um, so what we decided, let me close this door. I mean, this room is not dressed even more. It's just not cute. So, don't mind this stuff. So, this is what we decided on. I don't know what I want to do accessory-wise. Um, but I did put my hair up in like a half up, half down. Oh, it looks sort of But I'm not doing it. It took me forever to do this. Like, I don't have time. Um, 
skin is skinning. We just did skincare and then we put some, um, oh, I just need to lose weight. My face just needs to go down. I don't want a nose job. <laughs> but anyways, um, skincare and then we did tinted moisture on like the bottom half of our face just to give us one base basically just because I have dark, um, it's dark on my face on the bottom half and cover up my um like my scars my discoloring from when i had like bad ingrown stuff and then also that little mark that was there these lines i mean they're still poking through but they're just less noticeable i didn't touch anything up here as you can tell because this would have been brighter you see my bags like why do i have to have these bags but anyways i'm wearing sunglasses because of that um so I did that to my hair, that's my face. Um, Louis Vuitton hoop earrings, um, this diamond uh, tennis necklace from Amazon. This is an old shirt with pads. It's like a, I don't even know what color you wanna call it from, I think this is from H&M. I don't think this is from Zara, I think this is from H&M. Jeans shorts from Old Navy and then I put on my Lon Bon sneakers and you know, my Michelle watch, but I'm just trying to decide on sunglasses. The bag, I was gonna pull out the Chanel, but the Chanel is, I mean, just like dress her up, but the Chanel gets heavy after a while, and this is just easier, and I have the crossbody strap, because that's more than likely what I'm gonna do is just crossbody her. Um, so this is, you know, the Valentino, but I can't decide on the sunglasses. I was like, should I do the Loewe's? Or should I do the Mew, Mew, Mew? I mean, doing this, I think I'm the, I think I'm gonna do the little face. Just looking at myself, cause I don't have no makeup, like concealer, these just brighten up my face. Um, a little bit more, and this give me a little bit more oomph compared to the Mew Mews. Um, because I don't have, um, I mean, the Mews and Mews are cute too though. Chow, I don't know, but I was like, I just don't want to do extra with the with the orangey tint frame. I was just trying to bring back in because these tints are like black, I think. They give me a hint of blue, so I was just like black, blue, my jeans and my shoes. But and I feel like these are a little bit more casual. I don't know. What should I wear? I don't know. But it's either out of these two. But I need to go like. I wanted to be out of here so I could run to the mall to return stuff at Zara. I wanted to run to Target to return stuff at Zara. And then I could be out on the road and the birds to their home goods because that's the plan. But at this point, I don't know. We might just stick around for another hour and a half so I could go to um, Joey Uptown Happy Hour. But it's like, this is not that cute for them. I don't know. Car is in neutral. Child, why my brake hole was on? What the hell? What kind of car? I'm confused. Let me turn my AC off. Child, let me try to get y'all situated. I've been sitting in Target's parking lot for like a half hour to decide what I want to eat. Because I figured restaurant Houston restaurant week is over the fourth. Um, so literally like today's the first, so three days left. So I figured I go get lunch from somewhere and I looked at going to Joey Uptown, but I feel like like my denim shorts are just like that's not the vibe. Like I just need to go somewhere like that I can just get away with what I have on instead of going back home and change. And it's traffic right now, so I want to go somewhere in the area that I'm in. So I am thinking about I went through um the restaurant week list of restaurants that are in my area where I stay. Um so I'm thinking about La Fischiera. Um, I made a reservation for 345. It is 332. It takes about nine minutes to get there. So I'm actually about to head there now. Um, 
Oh, and Target, I just had two returns, a scrub daddy scrubber. It doesn't fit in my little holder in my um, sink, so I didn't want that anymore. And then also like this mirror thing. I think I showed you guys that I had used it as, it was like a mirror, but also I was gonna put my soap dish in the on it in the bathroom, but I just didn't wait, like the way it looked, so I returned that. I am actually have additional returns to Home Goods, Zara, Nike, but I need to eat, and it's Friday, and we gonna have a drink we could do that girl we off saturday sunday monday tuesday we got time okay so i will bring you guys of course along with me i hope there's parking in there. <laughs> Year was really really good i did the houston restaurant week menu the three course menu for 55 dollars i need to adjust my lighting so please hold okay so we fixed that we fixed that so excuse me i have the hiccups for whatever reason they just came and i'm sort of tired now <laughs> oh my god i'm so sorry but um, we just left La Fischiera on Malum Street. We did their three quarters Houston restaurant. Houston, oh my God, Houston restaurant week menu. It was really really good. Um, for me, I started off with the um tostado. I forgot, but it was basically a tostado, but with um yellowfish tuna raw, with avocado and uh whatever else. But it was really good. I think. I believe there was inserts before this clip of the food and then for my entree I did a whole like fried fish a whole I forgot what type of fish it was it was like pastano or something I've never had that fish before but it was really 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 good um I enjoyed it I ate the whole thing again I think you guys saw clips like when I was talking to my mom the fish was done it was so good it was like in this lemon buttery lime sauce it was like literally oh my gosh it was literally amazing and then for my dessert i did the churros um the churros was amazing too like they were perfect i took i ate two there and i took two home and then it would luckily was happy hour the same time that i went there um and i had two frozen margaritas the frozen margaritas were really good i'm not a fan of frozen margaritas like just give me a simple margarita but those margaritas were banging like and they were definitely a little strong i should have just liked to one because in my head i'm like girl you're trying to drive out in the burbs i could literally go home and take a take a nap but i think I'm okay i drank some water and i had a, like a, a, a liquid iv before i even left the house when i took like my vitamins and stuff so i should be okay um but la fishier was really good i would really go back for that fish like that fish was amazing like it would like for something so delicious and then light and healthy it was so good with the side of vegetables i could have got more vegetables though like the tin of vegetables was nothing um but overall i give that place and my waiter shout out to Jose, jesus jesus i'm like in my head i'm like i had to ask him, i was like how do you spell that i'm like oh yeah jesus okay when he said that, i was like duh i knew this but um 
yeah he was really really nice um it's sort of early so i'm sure i feel like they would be more uh packed or you know more patrons later on in the evening it is downtown i don't know of course i don't know nothing around here but i'm surprised it's not more packed than usual because their food was really really good like to me their food was amazing my drink was amazing i would literally get a nine out of ten and it's just because i don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 because i could have got more vegetables for my entree but overall it was very good um i would recommend um so now i'm just gonna collect myself in my car for like 10 minutes and i still want to go to like a home goods or something but I'm gonna go like out in the burbs. I don't know. I may just see how long it might take me to get to the mall to Galleria so I could return the stuff at Zara. And I have a pickup from Zara too. But in my head, I'm like, I should maybe just go there tomorrow morning. Um, but again, it will all depend on what the traffic is looking like right now. But if not, then I'm going to probably head to a um, home goods in the suburbs like Sugarland, Katy, like out in the suburbs. Um, but yeah, I'm happy I took myself out eventually. Like, and I said I wasn't going to do anything too, but that was really good. So now, like I said, home goods, and then I'll check in with you guys. Um, oh, I'm going to go to dinner tomorrow with Lauren. So that should be fun. I don't know where yet. I hope it's somewhere like really nice or like I can dress up. Because, uh, you know, I like to put on my shit. But other than that, I have no plans for the weekend, of course. Um, I know um, Marva, my good friend from college, one of her best friends, is in town. I believe she, no, I think she comes in tomorrow. I think she said two to four. I don't know. But, um, this crazy man looking at me. I'm very happy I did not move downtown. What is he looking at? Yeah, I'm very happy that I moved downtown. This is why I didn't move downtown. Because I'm like, even though it's these nice buildings, like, you got to deal with, like, homeless people. And I don't have time. Even though it's not dirty like New York City. But it's just, like, still, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, but, okay, I'm babbling at this point. So, I'm going to talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. Happy Saturday, you guys. It's 9.22 a.m. September, what, 2nd at this point? Um, I think... The last I spoke to you guys yesterday was at leaving the restaurant. Um, excuse me. But I had, after that, I went to a couple home goods in Pearland, two in Pearland and one in Webster, Texas, I think. Um, but like to drive out there, like my, like I started to slowly get a headache. And then by the time I got home, like my head was pounding, like. My head was pounding, my stomach was messed up. I was just over it. So I got in the house around like 10, 10 30 and went like straight to bed. Um so yeah, I figured I'd show you guys what I picked up yesterday. It wasn't a lot. I did buy a three hundred dollar mirror, um, which is too big to fit in my car. And now I need to decide how I'm gonna get it here. And it's a Pearland. I mean they gave me this card to try to I mean that I could use. I tried to do it. I was gonna do it. It was like it's a hundred dollars. So the mirror's gonna be four hundred dollars to get it here. Um but I was like, let me wait because I'm gonna go out today. I'm gonna try to get like be at the house by like ten o'clock so I can go to the mall because I'm going to dinner tonight. So mm, let me just see if I can find something to wear. Even though I know I can have I have something in my closet. <laughs> but but I also have a turn that's alright anyway, so I could oh and I have pickups too. So I can return, pick up what I have from Zara, look around quickly, then leave. There's a living spaces, I believe, on West Timer Road. So I'm gonna look in there. Um, and then I think I might head out to Living Spaces again. Just because they really have good pieces, and I'm gonna go to the one in Katie again. So go to the one in Katie, like and go to the home goods out there again. If I don't find anything, whatever. Um, and then come back home to start getting dressed to go to dinner. Dinner is at eight. So I'm saying I'd be ready to get back in house by six so I can start getting dressed. Cause I can't pull, I'm actually going with someone now that I can't be on my time. So I need to do that. But before I get dressed to go out, I actually was gonna do a quick project. My Amazon stuff finally came. Um, the previous package got lost, so they had to. I need to make sure I get refunded too. 
but I had to reorder the stuff and I got more stuff. But along with the Amazon stuff, I'm gonna show you the home good stuff I picked up yesterday. Um, I got this, basically it's like a, almost like a Dutch oven, but, um, but not really. But this is a little bit smaller. I had one from Lodge back in Jersey, but I left it of course. Um, this is like a lightweight cast iron porcelain enamel enamel surface i thought i got the okay this is not large this is by brandini i guess it's an italian brand but i thought it was so cute the matte black with the gold top so pretty this was 34.99 okay so i got two of these the other one is in the bathroom you could just get one it's the exact same thing um to hold my soap dish well, in the bathroom, I'm holding my soap and um, a candle. And in the kitchen, I don't know. I feel like this one might be a little bit too big for the kitchen. So, I don't know. Just because it would... For the soap dish that I do have and I need still need to get a canister to put my dish detergent in. I think it might be too big. So, I don't know how I feel about this for the kitchen. Um, I might return this to try to find something smaller. But I got two of these. These are by the Luxury Collection. Um, they were $12.99 and then I already had this tea kettle I've never used it yet but then I found it in a smaller version so I bought the smaller version yesterday and I think I might keep the um excuse me <laughs> I have two different brands but there's that same thing but I think I might keep the smaller version just because I feel like the larger one is just overpowering my stove um i think that was it from home goods right i didn't get a lot from home goods yesterday so i think that was that so we could open up amazon stuff starting with this one let me do the bags i'm not organized as you guys can tell oh these are big i'm gonna have to return these and i thought i had got eight so i had got brought these little dark brown hoodies for my couch these are too big though. I thought they were smaller. They looked smaller because um, my couch doesn't have any, you know, protection on the feet. But these are way too big. So I'm gonna have to return those. I'm thinking maybe I'll just do felt tips. I don't know. So I got these command strips. You'll see why in a second. This is a laundry hamper. I need to take my dirty clothes off the floor. But this is like really compact, sleek. I figure I could just put it in like a corner in my closet. This is for the microwave. This is just a microwave cover. So I can stop using my paper towels, but um, it's just clear. And this has the magnets at the top. It would just go like that. So you don't have to, like if you don't need that, something that's not gonna splatter, you could just keep it in the microwave if you want to. It's not in the way, so you don't have to keep just going like that and whatever. So I got that. This is a 24 pocket over the door hanging medium sized shoe organizer. So these are what this is for because this originally came with um, like the metal hooks and people said like it scratches up the door. So to avoid that because we're in an apartment, we are doing, we're gonna try to do the command strips. Oh, then I got some more Oxy Shreds so I can start working out again. Cause I'm telling y'all, if y'all have never tried this, try this, this is the truth. This will make you sweat. I sweat already. That's how my friends think I lose weight so fast, but I'm trying the flavor passion fruit this time. Um, but I honestly feel like this works. Like it will keep you focused. It will keep you on task while in the gym and help you lose weight. It's a fat, it's a thermogenic fat uh, burner. And also it's like almost like a pre-workout. They have one without caffeine. I get the one with, with the stimulant because why not it does not it doesn't give me jitters um stimulants i've had in the past like um oh i can't think of it but like the ones you could get at target i can't think of the name but I, that gives me the jitters but this has never given me the jitters i really enjoy that and then i got this toilet plunger um you just never know and i wanted a black sleek one i would prefer not to have this blue but whatever um this was like the cheap one and cheapest ones plungers cost a lot like hello i don't know why but that was that this all came from target i mean amazon oh and then i got these a couple days ago our girl journey our girl g jerenica my see it 
had posted them on her story and I was like, ooh, those are super cute. Not like I need another brown um, sunglasses, but I was like, oh, these are fun and cute. Something totally different than what I have. But imagine my beat face or whatever. They're brown. They have like little cutouts at the bottom and these cute little red um, arms. Those just were super cute. I mean, they're cheap. They're like more like burgundy, but these are super cute for fall. I mean, I'm in Texas now. I don't really have a fall, but they're super cute. I like those. And I think that's actually, I was like, let me come right back real quick. So I put together my plunger real quickly. I just screwed this piece, middle piece on the plunger. And I'm just gonna screw this on like so, like so. And then tighten it. And that's the plunger. This is dusty. So this has like ventilation. So that's actually nice. That's what that blue stuff is. So like if you do ever use it, it won't just be sitting in water, toilet water at that. It will dry itself off. But it will sit nicely in there just like that. And if you guys are interested, this is Mr. Singa. A Mr. Singa premium toilet plunger with holder. I'll probably actually put it there. Um, this actually needs to be closer. It looks cluttered, but I prefer that not to be showing like that. Um, yeah. Oh, it looks cluttered, but whatever. I prefer it not to be in the open. open. It's like you don't really see it when you're in the bathroom. You just see the toy, the trash can. I don't know, whatever. I know y'all sick of this angle, cause I am too. But this is what we're wearing because, child, we didn't have time to figure out for our outfit. Like, it's literally run around. Um, old Nike leggings, black leggings, old Adidas um sports top, my blue baton bum bag, Gucci sunglasses. I'm throwing on my Adidas slides and calling it. A day, because I cannot be bothered. Just too hot, and I'm literally just running around. Mm. Gotta give a little something. This is a fit. I'll bring you guys along with me. I doubt I pull up my camera in the mall. <laughs> Home goods, maybe, but we'll see. Okay, bye. Mm. I look like a bug, huh? But I love them. They're like so cool and chic, and like nobody has these. A lot of people don't wear these. Hmm. Hola, it is 5.33. Um, I just got in the house. I just couldn't forget my nails and my feet done again. I went to the same place, Milano um, Nail Spa. I had a different people. I was getting my nails and my toes done at the same exact time. I figured I would be out of there in another freaking half hour, 30, 45 minutes now. But since I was able to get them done at the same time, perfect. Like I have six, I have two, two and a half hours to get dressed. Cause where we're going is literally around the corner from my house but if not whatever but i'm about to start getting dressed i was at what did i do today so i went to the mall went to the mall to zara return stuff boss stuff of course picked up my order um then from there we went to i don't think i asked zara i think i left i left and i went to home goods nothing i just returned stuff living spaces it was nothing i um, went to ulta um Picked up another big Morphe continuous spray. Picked up Lily Lashes just because the ones that I had bought last weekend, they weren't enough for me. These are not, these are Miami. I prefer Carmel, I believe. And then it's the 25 Days of Beauty at um, Ulta. So I just got two more eyebrow pencils. Um, and then I also stopped at Sephora another one size uh on till dawn mattifying waterproof spray um i can show you guys what i got from zara oh this got like a big old gap in it i bought these heels these were on sale but it's like glue or something in them but i didn't even know how i felt about them i just thought they were cute because the heels not too high i just felt like they were regular to quickly show you i mean there's just a simple i like the color it's like a pink i don't know why they're coming up as orange but they're just i feel like a cute little 
a cute little shoe. I don't know if I will keep them or not. They're on sale for $30. Um, I got this cute little dress from H&M. Just a little short. And then with some spanks. But I think that like, even though it's short, it's like I'm covered at the top, so it's like not doing the most. This is a size large. I thought this would be cute. It's hard for me to find organza tops that fit my arms because I bought one from, I forgot the lady name, but it's cute, but it doesn't fit my arms. But this fits my arm. I got the extra large, extra large 2XL skirt that I had actually picked up last week and then I must have put back um, by accident. But I actually had the extra large 2XL last time, I mean last week. But this time I got the medium extra large just because medium large just because i feel like this skirt is already a lot of it is long so it was like i really didn't need the extra material sort of you know go on to my fat but that's okay i just feel like this is just better the medium large and then i picked up one of these tank tops that jernica was craving about i can't say these are very nice material i got a size medium large because that's the largest they go up to Unfortunately, this is $20. And I'm mad like they didn't have a size larger because oh, big titty girls, hello. But like you can never go wrong, but just these are so nice though. Like even if I just wanted to wear this today, like I think this would be cute with some sexy heels, but like this is like too covered up for tonight. And I hate showing my arms because I'm so fat right now. That was that. So that's what I picked up. And then I can show you guys my order. I have placed online. It's a 2XL. This is from their sale. I'm surprised. It was sitting in my cart still um, when I went and ordered the denim dress. Oh, I'm going to have to return this. This does not fit my titties at all. Like, it's compact in my titties. Of course, my titties are titty in. But I think the rest of the dress fits nicely. Cute. But okay, I got to go, you guys. Gotta get dressed, gotta take a shower, gotta shave. face and it's sort of cute okay but i also think because these glasses are so big but anyways it's sunday fun day i don't have anything fun planned i'm literally going to the mall to pick up my necklace i need to go actually um return some stuff at zara um then i go take myself out to eat somewhere then i think i'm going to a sip in a sip and shop a joe malone with lauren for this woman she just sent me her I hope that gives me enough memory. Um, so that means I actually need to hurry up and try to freaking edit these vlogs. Um, but I got caught off. I think I said Lauren sent me the sip and shop of some woman. I don't know. Um, she said her and her husband throws events. I'm I don't know. But that's later at seven and nine. It's three o'clock now, so I need to um, go. Last night I did go to dinner um, with Lauren and her friend Sam. We went to Benny Chow's. We actually sat at the bar because we didn't have reservations, but the food was really good. We did the Houston Restaurant Week menu. Um, maybe I'll put clips in. I don't remember. I don't. I didn't take you guys with me. I was wearing jacket mousse. Like there's nothing that can go in that bag. Um, and then after Benny Chow, we went to, hmm, we went to Friends, and then we went to Urban Social. Um, we had a drink at Friends. It was okay. It wasn't, it was sort of dead in there. And then they did hookah. I just had a drink. Then we left and went to Urban Social. But it was pretty late, and they were about to close, and people were doing the most. So that was the night, but it was so, super cute. I didn't show you guys my outfit. Um just because i'm gonna save that outfit and that's definitely gonna be worn when i drop some more weight again like because i'm gonna gain another 10 15 pounds at this point but i quickly want to show you my outfit of the day what i have on right now it's on tiktok so go look at it if you're not sunglasses are alexander mcqueen top and skirt is zara this bag is ndg and i'm wearing my valentino sneakers 
And actually, the sipping shop, you have to wear pink. And it just so happens that I had some pink on today. So, Lauren said this is fine. So, if not, I'm just not going to go. But this is what I'm wearing for the day. But let me go. Bye, guys. Sunday, you guys. I don't have a fun Sunday fun day plan. But I'm going to do some errands. Maybe take myself out to brunch. I don't know. Um, but I feel, I feel cute. So, I wanted to show you my OOTD. My sunglasses are Alexander Wang. Top and skirt are both from Zara. I actually got these yesterday. Um, Jeremy of my was raving about these same top from Zara. She was not lying, go grab them. I mean, they're $20, but they are so stretchy and good material. And this skirt has pockets, like, hello? Adorable. <laughs> this bag is by NDG. I got this at the end of last year. I think it's like October, November. I think it's so funny that Coach came out with this metallic silver bag like I, I already was on that trend but anyways sneakers are valentino and my normal accessories so yeah this is what i'm wearing let me know if you guys like it or not but regardless this is what i'm wearing bye Was an average guy driving a Honda Civic, and you met you told me to believe, and as you told me to believe, I became what you told me to believe. So, you're marking 30 years, I got $30,000. Wow! crusty and greasy because I did I take my makeup from off from when I came home last night but it is Monday September I don't know it's Labor Day Memorial Day forgot what's on um it's 9 49 a.m I'm going to a 10 30 a.m hit to workout class um at a like studio that Lauren typically works out at this morning so that should be interesting um my legs are extremely sore. I feel like I was doing a lot of walking yesterday. But last night was cute. I didn't uh, check in, I don't think, last night when I got in. Because I got in around like 2, a little after 2. And I just went straight to bed. That's why I have my makeup still on. Um, but yesterday, recap. Um, I remember the last time I talked to you. I think it was before I headed out. But I don't remember. So I went to the mall. I did my Zara returns. I got my chain back for my necklace. Then I went to BB Lemon, which is a restaurant. They were part of Houston Restaurant Week. Um, I think I might, there's probably gonna be clips of that. Um, but if not, I started with some oysters. I had ginger, ginger, a gin gimlet. And then um, I started off with the lollipop, chicken lollipops for my entree. I had a steak salad and for a dessert, I have like this brownie a la mode thing. Um, it was good. Um, it was just quiet in there. I had a couple buy me a drink because <laughs> they asked me to move down a seat. And then from there, I came back home really quickly because I was going to change. I went to a sipping shop at Joe Malone with Lauren and the theme was pink. And even though I had pink sunglasses and sneakers, I'm just like always, I wish I was a little bit more on trend and I wish I would have because the, they were 
and pink bar it was like a barbie party it was this um, woman's or this lady's um maddie i guess she was celebrating 30 years in retail she um at the men's warehouse i guess here in houston so i guess if you guys are reviewing or have many a life son go check her out um gorgeous 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 woman um and with that joe malone because her daughter also is i guess in retail sales as well she has like part-time job at joe malone but her full time was at van cleef um but it was a it was a beautiful experience um like as far as like the decor was cute it was really cute it was cute um and of course i bought some stuff i bought 300 two basically 260 dollars worth of products i got two cents i this is i don't really do joe malone because i feel like this you know um it's not real perfume but the manager in there she was very helpful and she helped me find like um like you gotta layer it like to create your own signature set so i got two an intense and then the lighter one of pop poppy and barley and then poppy and something i don't know but layering them it was so good so that's what i got two of two small ones i think the small one of the other kind is 80 and the small one of the intense one is like i think it's 160 dollars oh, excuse me but 260 dollars after that and then me and lauren went to um lock bar it was still in the same area of the rover oaks district of that shopping center we went to lock bar but it was way too packed then we went to stay 48 and we had a drink um we had a drink there and like at, an app because like we both had eaten dinner dinner um when we were there for a while just talking um that was good and then when we were leaving um when we were leaving what is it state 48 um we had met an owner of a club <laughs> so um we were like okay so i wanted to go I hope you can't see me. but i wanted to go because of north of course like i'm like oh this is just perfect the timing and just everything so we went to lauren's house stayed there for a while let our phone charge a little bit just gather ourselves and we went back to, we headed to the club and then when we got there so she called him and he then texted her was like oh text me um and then she was like oh we're outside child why the man never responded or he never read it he had his rubber seats on but he never opened a text message and we're it was it was a ghetto like it was the ghetto it wasn't like it's a very known club i'm not just gonna leave it un, un, unknown but it was a very it's a very well known club in houston it's big too it's a big club i've been there before um but it just turned ratchet it was not what it is when i went it was not that and it's just ghetto so yeah um but anyways i came home and yeah that's was a recap of last night and then i, I need to hurry up and get dressed because it's 9.54, I've never been. I want to get there before. And I also want to take my glutamine. Because um, this is going to be my back on my healthy cake, I guess. To start, I want to take my glutamine. And my glutamine, typically, um, I have to go to the bathroom after when I take it. So, no, I think that's the l carter carotene. It's, or is to tell this one sort of makes me have to go to the bathroom. Um, so, I'm going to take this now, though. Because you're supposed to take this on end your stomach. I wish I would do this half hour ago. But, whatever. But I just want to check in with you guys. And I'm checking in with from you from my phone because my memory card on my camera is also done. So it's like, Morgan, that's your start. Like, girl, get this content off your memory card so you could delete it. So, I mean, I have nothing planned for today. I'm off tomorrow too. Um, I do think when I go to Home Goods and I'm gonna return the mirror that I bought. It's a $300 mirror, $299 with tax came $350. And then it's like, I gotta pay for somebody to get it here. And the delivery was like $99. And that was if it was under $50, 50 pounds. I think the mirror is more than 50 pounds. So it would have been $140. And I'm sure they include tax in that. So the mirror is just going to become like four, $500. And it's not worth it. Um, not for a mirror. Um, so I'm going to probably head to, it was in the suburbs. So I'm probably going to head to that home foods after and then just like return it. Um, and then since I'm in the suburbs, I'll probably just go to the home goods. And then. Well, hopefully if they're not closed. Mm. But whatever, I need to go. Um, but that's really it for the day. Um, oh, yeah, I'll pick you guys up later. Sorry, and I have no clothes on, so bye.
Y'all, there's a Bucky's. I had to come all the way out. I think I'm in like Texas City. Um, Texas City to so go to the Nike outlet to return these Nike orange and cream. I think it's ended up being like orange and cream Nike dunks. They were ugly. But I came here because I know my Texas people always rave about Bucky's and their ooh, and always rave about their sandwiches. So I'm excited to try it. Like I'm not even hungry. And I'm supposed to be eating good, but like I have not seen any Bucky's near me. I think they're in the, you know, so I gotta try it. So we're gonna go get a one of their sandwich. We'll see. I'm excited. Chopped brisket sandwich. Three sandwich. Okay, so we got water, bottled water. We got a fried apple pie. And then we got, damn, this sandwich was $8.49. I mean, it's brisket, but damn. Sliced brisket sandwich. So let's taste it. I'm so excited. If it's nasty, well, at least y'all would know. Ain't no barbecue sauce. It could be a little warmer. And I got one from the to the back to get it was fresher. It's okay. It would be better if I had some more barbecue sauce and it was warmer. But it's really good to me. Um, I might as well talk to you guys. I didn't realize I could use my camera like this. Um, but I think I'm in Texas City because I had to come to the Tanger Outlets all the way out here because I had to return some Nikes. They were like orange dunk lows that came out. I think they came out like August 12th. Yeah, the day I moved, they came out. But I didn't like them when I first, when I got them. They're just not cute in person. So I returned those, but I, of course, the Nike store. And I prefer returns in store compared to shipping it back because if it get lost, then I need my money. But, so this is the closest Nike store. Like, this makes no sense. But it's the closest store. Um, it's going to take me 40 minutes to get home. I literally went to the Nike store and, yeah, I don't have time. But before that, where did I go? Oh, I went to back to Home Goods in Pearland to return this mirror that I got on Friday. I went to that Home Goods. I went to two Home Goods in Pearland. Didn't find anything. Went to a Ross and the second home goods like outlet or plaza. Then where did I go? I shopped at a Goodwill for like artwork to see if they had anything, but they didn't. Um, and that was it. And then I came here and now I want to just go home. It's five o'clock. I have a reservation for nine o'clock. I think I'm going to take myself out to dinner. 
I'm trying to get my use of the Houston Restaurant Week. Today is the last day. So go to B&B Butchers, which seems like an expensive steakhouse. So it's like I might as well get the use of this Houston Restaurant Week. So I'm going to go to that. And this morning, I hopefully I showed the clips. This morning, I did a 10.30 a.m. hit and hit and lift, hit and power, hit and something. Um, workout class at Sweat and Suit. Sweat and sweat and suit sweat and i think it's sweat and suit studios um they have like two suites one is more like hit the other one is a pilates room but it was really good it was taught by kiera that's actually lauren's friend but it was really good i enjoyed it i'm gonna go back um it was 25 dollars. i got 10 dollars off because it was my first class um but it was really good um and then from there we went to um, dish dish we went to eat we went for basically brunch breakfast i just got an omelet with mushrooms and spinach and cheese and a side of fruit and then i went home to go to the bathroom and then i left out to get the home goods receipts and that's when i went to home goods and blah 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 now we're here so it's five o'clock and i have to, i don't have work tomorrow either so thank god so that's why i was like let me take myself out to eat tonight and then tomorrow I need to start building the stuff at my house but tomorrow i need to find a i need to find a full length mirror i want to go back to living spaces and more home goods near my area because i don't think i could go no more out i'm sick of driving out but that is that so i guess i will check in with you guys later i'll enjoy my bucky sandwich oh let me try let me taste the um apple pie for y'all this sounds like it should be good i like mcdonald's apple pies and this fried apple pie sounds good. Mm. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Really good. Bucky's 9 out of 10. Okay. If I put my camera again because my, I mean my phone, so my memory card is out of memory and I can't go delete stuff. But I, shit, I wanted to show you guys what I quickly um, picked up today and um, some packages I got in. I'm going to dinner in like three hours. So that gives me more than enough time to get dressed. I'm going to B&B &B Butchers tonight by myself. So for home goods, I got these two bins. These are, I specifically got these for under this kitchen sink so I can put like my cleaning products in it because having stuff just everywhere is a mess. Um, this was a set of two. This is by Bino. These were $20, $19.99. Then I got two of these, these um, recycled deep drawer bins. These were $8 each, some 99 These are by iDesign. And I got these for the cabinet because like all my medicines, <clears throat> It would just be easier if I could just pull it out instead of trying to get whatever. It's just just the way this is set up. It's like I need I need the bins. So that was that. So I saw this on I think XOXO Shopper Shoppers page 2.0. She like posts luxury deals. Um, and this is from Adrian Houghton. The X, I guess her bra. I never even knew she came up with a line. But, um, is it gonna focus? There it goes. But I had saw this on her, so I was like, ooh, that is super cute. And I wonder when this came, because I had just said, I wish I had this yesterday, because that would've been super cute. Um, what is the little one? I wish, I, was, I wish it wasn't so shiny, but it's a mixed metal, two-tone gold and silver necklace. I thought it was super cute. I like the um, Paco Bond one, or I forgot that Kayla Walker has. I thought that was super cute, so I thought this is a dupe, and it wasn't. It wasn't that much money. If thirty dollars, I feel like I don't know, but it's heavy. I can't say that, but this is a cute like little chain. Just to have when you dress up. I don't know. Now I'm thinking about it. I think it's mine though, because who knows what the return policy is. But it's okay. It's cute. Some leggings from by Neeks on Instagram. She's like a fitness girl. And she has her own athletic line. Now, typically, I don't buy 
people stuff. Like, also, like, my friend Kia in Connecticut, her line, Cornbread, Cornbread Fitness, Cornbread Fit. Y'all go support her, but I don't buy people's leggings. And these are not what I ordered. Let's call her. I don't remember, but I guess I did. So, but she had these biker shorts with this like electric print on it. I was like, oh, these are super cute. Um, I got the, elect they're called the electric scrunch shorts. I got a large. Um, ciao. It's like, I should've got, <laughs> I should've got extra large because these are really tiny. But the extra large, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I should have got an extra large towel. But these are them. I feel like I ordered a different color, but I guess I didn't. But I'm gonna try them on real quickly. Better large. <laughs> but these are them. These are, just, these are super cute. They look oh, they actually look a little weird. I don't know. <laughs> but the booty, this scrunch though. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is a large. This color is a little awkward. It's like pink and purple. And then last but not least, before I turn it off, I ordered. I had seen this in Target, and I wasn't gonna get it. I was like, I'm sure that always goes on sale. And then also, I wanted the X to buy it because that could have been my cheap home housewarming gift. But this is some storage, some Pyrex storage, the um, glass seal one. I wanted these with the um, the tops that locked. I like these instead of just the top ones. So, and this is good just for me, it's 10, it's three. Um, so five piece set, five containers and five lids. So I like this and I actually caught it on sale on Target. Um, it was like 15% off, so happy I got that. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Joe Malone, I still didn't open that. I think I'm gonna do trying to do like an unboxing for this though. So that's why I'm just gonna keep it like this. But I wanna wear this tonight actually. Maybe I can try not do this unboxing right now. I don't know where I would do it though. Cause I have nobody to get. Good morning. It is <clears throat> Tuesday, September 5th. It's like 11, 17 a.m. I got up, I'm off again today, my last day. I'm back to work for a good two weeks straight, full weeks, but that's okay. Um, I'm about to run out. I'm about to, I need to find a cleaners, I need to find a Whole Foods to return an Amazon package. Um, I'm about to run to Living Spaces and Katie. Um, I'm not in the mood to really look at furniture or do all that today, so. Melinda just literally trying to go beat traffic before, you know, people get off work. Um, so I'm about to run to Katie and then I want to come back home because I want to take myself to Happy Hour or Joey Uptown. Um, I think they're happy hours Monday to Friday, three to six. So that's what I plan on doing. Um, I'm like so sore, my legs are sore. So like, um, whatever. But this is quickly what I have on. Let me open up a blind. Ooh, last night, I don't think I got back on camera. Um, Cause I ran out of space. So that made me finally edit a vlog. I edited it back from like June 1st. June 1st? This first Saturday, it's like, sat, the first Saturday in June. Cause that's when the Vuv Clico Polo Classic was in New Jersey. So I edited that. Uploaded it to YouTube. I didn't make it live yet. I'll probably make it live on Thursday. And then um, hopefully tonight, I plan on editing our Vegas vlog. And then that one, I plan on putting that up on Sunday, hopefully. Um, I don't know. I guess just when I feel like it, then maybe. I don't know. Because maybe I'll do one just to get, to get myself caught up. But also it's like, what's the rush? Because at this point, I have Vegas, my first moving vlog, and I'm in the second one at this point, so I think we're okay. Um, so I'll probably go Thursday, Sunday, I don't know. But anyways, so like I said, I'm about to run out to do some errands. This is what I have on, very chill, because again, I'm not in the mood. Well, I'm sore and I'm not doing the most. Um, I need to come home to get, I wanna be home by 1.30, 1.45. 
pushing it. It's already 11.20, but um, these Celine sunglasses, um, this graphic t-shirt from Cotton On, just Guns N' Roses. I put this slit here. <sighs> these black denim shorts. I'm not sure where these are from. Um, maybe Abercrombie? Abercrombie, Target, or Old Navy. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then I'm just wearing my silver Birkenstocks. Oh, oh, oh. I'm wearing my servant silver Birkenstocks because they're just comfortable. And this is just my look for the day. Like, I really don't care. And I'm just wearing my um, Louis Vuitton bum bag. <laughs> that was so funny. But, um, yeah, that is it. I got up and I straightened up my house because I left it a mess last night. But I was just exhausted i was supposed to take myself to dinner at b and b burgers for the last day of houston restaurant week but my stomach i felt like it was hurting where i had like the bgs just like i had a pain i think maybe gas i don't know but it's it went away it subsided um so i was just like i got in the shower did skincare and i was just like i'm not going i was like i'll save the money and take myself to happy hour today so that's the plan um yeah let's go so we went to the cleaners and dropped off my two pieces. Um, it was an Amazon drop blazer, but it's, it called for dry cleaner only. And then my Jacquemus dress that I used as a top months ago. Um, and then I had to go to Home Goods to Home Goods. This is Whole Foods to drop off um, an Amazon return. And I was like, let me stop at the hot bar. I have never ate Amazon. Um, why do I keep going? I have never eaten Whole Foods hot bar, so I decided to try it. I'm trying to still be healthy. Um, and I just got a small little portion. So I just got green beans and meatballs. I think that's good. Some greens and then some protein, turkey meatballs. Um, this was almost $9. I think it was $9. It was an $8.60 or $9.60. I forgot. But mm, it's okay. My Trader Joe's meatballs cost, taste the same. Mm. But now we're going to. I'm sorry. This is why I'm getting off the camera. Now we're about to head to Katie to go to Living Spaces. And I'll talk to you guys. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So the green beans and the meatballs. So you knew I wasn't lying. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try the chicken wings, but I was like, Morgan. Just get the meatballs. Turkey meatballs. And yeah. Okay. Very quickly, I just got in the house. I need to be out of the house in literally a half hour to make my 445 Joey reservation. What I got from Home Goods. Finally found a cute fruit bowl that I like. Bought a Dutch oven. It matches the other um, porcelain, like cast iron thing that I have. I just bought another one because it matched, like I just said that, it matched it. And then just bought some jewelry cleaner. That was it. But like I said, I'm in a rush. So I'll check in if I can before I head out. I'm gonna try to make this work. Hello, you guys. My under eye might look crazy because I was dusting it with a, a highlighter brush just now. Because it just keeps creasing. So that's why this eye looks crazy. But anyways, I just got in the house. I had laid my edges back with some edge control, so that's why this is on. But um, I ran out the house. I was didn't make my reservation, but luckily the bar was empty, so I was able to sit down. My outfit was just plain black tank jeans, um, Chanel, -y, Chanel earrings, and then those Louboutin wedges. Um, Joey's was good. I got the complimentary, com, complimentary, complimentary, complimentary glass of wine. And then I had three glasses of sparkling rosé. And then I started off with, um, tuna and, I think I did tuna, tuna and avocado roll. And then I did the steak and ravioli bianco, bianco. Um, then I did, after I ate that, I was so hungry. Then I ate um, um, 
a salmon roll, sm smoked salmon or whatever. Now there's the salmon roll at Joey's. Um, Joey Uptown. Um, and then I went to the mall because I had a Zara package I needed to pick up. Oh, this looks crazy from this angle. <laughs> and then I, I ended up buying just like a take, two tank tops that I really like from Zara that are like really strong. And then um, a pair of jeans. I don't know if I can fit them. But I just got home, straightening up, have work tomorrow, it is 8.33. I guess I can show you what I got from Zara. Then also, oh, when I was in Zara, I saw the, I, wanna, I don't wanna call her Miss Maddie, but the Lady Maddie's who sip and shop me and Lauren went to this weekend at Joe Malone. Um, and it was so funny because Lauren called. She said, like, you're gonna always run into her. And I did. And I spoke. Um, so this is what I ordered online. I was like, ooh, this is fabulous. And then, of course they were out of stock. And then who posted it? Oh, I think Melissa. I forgot her name on Instagram. Melissa from London, the stylist, posted it. And I was like, oh, I need that. The silver, I don't have have a silver bag but it's just adorable like hello 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 oh and it goes with the jeans i don't know if i can fit the jeans that i got but this is the bag it is so cute look at her and of course i think she has a chain too um she has the plastic still wrapped on her how do you open this Ciao. Am I stupid or slow? Cause I can't, I cannot open this. How do you open this bag? I am not about to, oh, okay. So yeah, open her up. She does have a chain, um, but she is super cute. This is definitely giving us Colt Gaia vibes. Um, and then I really don't want to touch the white one because I'm um, just, like I said, I was cleaning up means makeup. So these I had, they're just simple tank tops. I got a magenta pink one and a white one again because the white one I had in New Jersey, but the dryer there used to like make my whites dingy. I don't know. So I got this pink and then I got the white again. But I really like these tank tops from Zara. I like the material. They're super casual or they can be dressed up just because of the material. And then I got these jeans because these are super cute. They have like the sheen of silver on them. They're mid-rise mid -rise straight. Now, I don't do mid-rise jeans because my thighs and my booty too big. So let's see if we can fit them. They're the biggest size Zara shows. Now I did get into a size 46 the other day at Zara, but they made my butt flat. And I'm assuming these are gonna do the same thing. So, oh, and my legs are still dead from yesterday, Burger. Yeah. Well, two days ago, whatever day it was. No, it was yesterday. Woo. Okay. So it's on the thigh, but I can already feel the booty. The booty is going to be no. <laughs> oh, my legs. Ciao. It'd be a struggle. Yeah, these are going to have to go right back. Because I can't fit. Not. Not. Um, so, no. It's a hard no. But it is not going anywhere. Oh. But these are obviously going back. So I'll return these when I get off to, of work tomorrow because my job is literally sort of near the Galleria. Ooh. So these will go back, unfortunately. But yeah, that's all I got. And I'm gonna unwind, straighten up, and get ready for work tomorrow. I said I might go to the gym though. But I don't know. We'll see how I feel in an hour. Cause I'm a late bloomer go on to the gym. Or I might just go to bed earlier, like 10 p.m. and then do, I'm trying to do the 5 a.m. club. But I don't know, 5 a.m. and then late night workout. I was thinking tomorrow, 
try to do 5 a.m. for like fasted cardio and then go to sweat and soul for workout class but i don't know we'll see but i just wanted to check in because i didn't when i got home why did i did i don't know no i did because i showed you guys what i got from home clips but when i left i didn't check in but tonight was good bye hello hello good evening it is what well, I don't know the date, but it's Wednesday. Today is what, the 6th? I think I didn't, yeah. I didn't check in with you guys this morning because I was super tired, I could not fall asleep. I didn't want to go into work, but I made it. Um, it's 5.43 p.m., I'm just getting in the house. This is what I wore today. This is just a knit long dress from Target. And then I wore, Super old, super old Tory Burch flip flops. I'm like extremely sore still. Like the way I'm moving is crazy. Like I just can't walk though. My legs are like so sore. I think I told you guys, but I just said to show you I bought this table from Home Goods yesterday. I think it was originally 250. I got it marked down to 200 because there are cracks on the marble countertop or the countertop the top of the um the table but i still and i still like it i think it gives character and it's not that bad so i wheeled it in because this thing is heavy or oh, i flip it over i'm gonna add these felt tips i could try to and if it makes it wobbly just peel them off because the bottom of the bottom of it has stickies on most of it except for like here and here but I have a feeling since these are higher it's gonna make it wobbly Hmm, and I don't have a flat one. So I guess I could try it. Um, no, this is definitely gonna make it lovely. So I won't even try to reuse these. Actually, let me stick it back there. When I say like, child, I don't know how I'm doing this. Oh. Legs were you guys saw better when it was flipped upside down but I feel like it's so in like I think it's so cute and I needed a circular table that was low for right here then I'll have the TV sandwich will be taller but I think it's just so interesting like I think and of course I'm getting a rug but I think it's so interesting it's just like a piece that's why I loved it. And I love the wood at the bottom. But as you can see, let me bring the ISO down. But you see the cracks, it's like all throughout. But it's attached to a base, so I feel like I would be okay. I don't feel like anything will break off. Um, and they said if anything broke off in like a week, I could, um, return it i mean i don't feel anything is loose that will break off i just can't of course you know nothing is loose but that is a table you guys the legs the wood here goes perfect with the legs there but i and i feel like the um i'm super tired sorry guys i can't talk but i feel like the cracks just go super perfect with it just gives it character but that is the table. I need to bring this thing back downstairs. So I'll check in. I'm not doing anything tonight. But I went to one home goods when I got for work, but I just wasn't in the mood. Um, so I wanted to go to another. And I wanted to get this out my car before they closed. I don't know if I showed you guys my new fruit bowl. I don't think I did with stuff in it, but that's super cute. Cute. Mind you, I just made this mess on the counter. Okay, 
So I'm about to try to put these things together, finally. I've had them probably for a week, these shoe racks. Got them from Target. I plan on putting all three together. <laughs> together we did it we did it you guys we did it so this is this is cute so this probably could fit like three six nine twelve twelve pair oh and at the top oh maybe i can put bags at the top of here hmm or my sunglasses y'all i'm still trying to figure out what i'm about to do but I'm assuming probably like three, six, nine, twelve, and then fifteen, eighteen. So eighteen pairs of shoes because the other one that's going here. Okay. My camera's about to die, but yes, you guys, I'll show you when I put shoes and stuff in. The second one is up. So I started to put some shoes in there. I think I showed you guys. And this is just clothes that were on the flo floor here. So I just made the. It just made it look so much better and cleaner. Hey guys, I had to do my phone because my memory card is back full. But that's okay because tonight, once we finish and clean up this, we're going to do the Vegas vlog. But y'all, when I say God is on my side, and I'm and not the most religious person. I'm more spiritual than religious. But when I say, I mean, this is very little, but I just feel like I'm just taking these little signs. Like when I say every single pair of my shoes literally fit in what I did, like by the grace of God, like all my last, it was one pair that was out and I was like, let me try to rework it. Let me try to rework it. Literally, I can get no more shoes. We're getting no more buying shoes because I have no more space for shoes. If I give up shoes, I have to give up a pair of shoes. Like that's going to be my next thing. So I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. But I got one of these for in here. And this holds two, four, six, eight. This holds 10 pairs of shoes. Literally, all my shoes fit in this. Okay, so that's 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 12 pairs of shoes on the back. So I set this up. Um, I remember I used the 3M things instead of the metal thing. So I'm hoping this holds because the metal hooks that come with this will scratch the door people said and i ain't got time for that so i put this is mostly just the higher heels the high heels that can't fit in the cubbies and then one pair of sneakers because those pair of sneakers cannot fit in a cubby i mean and technically i have space for a little bit but i put clothes right there right now but then in this one i my shoes all fit in here. Remember, I could put shoes up here if I wanted to, but I'm not right now. I'm just going to use that for right there until I get my dresser and nightstands. But these, and they're not really organized. I didn't really organize this. This is just more my casual flats. And then there's some heels that have an overflow. Um, but, okay, let me finish before I tell that. And then this, the one that is just a single one. All my high, high heels had to go at the top because they just cannot fit in the cubby. And remember, I don't have more, no more room there. And then, um, like all my slingbacks are down there. Um, 
that's the only thing that's probably was organized. <laughs> all the sling blacks, the clothes, toe shoe. Oh, well, that one could have been. Damn, that's all Zara too. But I was like, so when it was when I realized on this one, I'm like, oh my gosh, Morgan. Like, cause I was running out of space. I was only having one, two, four, four, four pairs fit in there. And in my head, I'm like, why is this not? I'm like, only four with the heels. I'm like, oh yeah, let me try to do the one, you know, flip one, one, can y'all see? Flip one, you know, frontward and in the back. When I say y'all, that really does save space. I didn't even hit me until I'm, I'm over here like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna have space for my shoes. But then I was like, oh wait, it does. And literally I was able to fit like two more pairs of shoes on each row when I did that. This one is like, this one right here is sort of, like on top of each other but whatever i never really wore that pair of shoes um and i really could give up some of these shoes i just don't wear them but i'm a hoarder low-key with my shoes and i just don't like to give up shoes oh and then i finally i think that was the last thing y'all saw me i was trying to put this thing together when i say this was a struggle them things hurt i was trying to um the little rise you gotta put it under here but it literally fits in the perfect spot and mind you these are just clothes that again these need drawers um and i don't have space for that but it literally i had it in poop. i i had it in this open space but i prefer it just hidden because when it's gonna be clean and you know it just looks better from when you're looking in the closet i mean you can't really close the door i mean like the door is gonna somewhat creep open but that's what it is but looking into the closet like it looks messy, but remember, this stuff is not going to be there. This stuff, I don't know what I'm doing that yet, but yeah, we did it. We did it. Oh, there actually, there is one pair of shoes that cannot fit up there, and it's my loafers. But I'm like, I'm not really going to be wearing these here, um, especially until it probably cools down. They're just tall loafers, and I'm probably just going to put it at the top since they're, they're very clunky. Um... I'm just probably gonna put it up there. But y'all, my shoes fit. I'm so excited. Um, but that was my task for the day. Now I need to clean up. Hold up. So, update. I cleared out everything. I wanted to show you guys when I'm done. But there are no more boxes, there are no more trash bags in here. Literally put, I just keep that up because all my clothes are already old. But all the trash bags and the boxes are gone. My suitcases have to stay there because I mean, I have nowhere to put folded clothes, like I've said a thousand times. Closet is organized. I made this neater. And yeah, you guys. I'm vlogging from my phone, because like I said, my camera memory died. So now I was just cleaning, but I realized I, my vacuum was not plugged in, charging this entire time. I thought it was, but I just, well, just gonna, but I got my dinner from um, some deli, I forgot, River Oaks Deli or something like that. It was buy one, get one free, so I just got two chicken, or two cob salads and added grilled chicken. But I'm pissed because they did not put dressing in the bag. So, I'm gonna be eating this dry ass salad. I'm very upset. Through drought and famine, natural disaster.